Hi, I'm Mark Camosio from Gunmark TV and I've got here to show you um, a significant rifle from BSA because obviously with the launch of their brand new um, Ultra CLX they sort of they're going to start sort of rationalizing the range and the um, where they've had the Scorpion in existence before with several models um, the one main scor uh, Scorpion that's now going to be available is the Scorpion SE Tactical as in this model and um, Whilst I've never been a great fan of synthetic stocks and I'm known for being a bit boring about a nice bit of walnut, um, this is a particularly lovely piece of design. Uh, it was designed by the late um, John Sykes of Hydrographics and uh, the, the, it's the sort of ergonomics of it, the way it just totally make, mates with your hand, um, it's a lovely, lovely bit of work. So it's obviously synthetic but you've got a sort of drop down semi-target grip and um, a thumb shelf at the back on the... Um, on the grip as well. Everything's natural, you've got sort of enhanced cheap piece, plenty of design flair on it, um, rubber butt pad obviously. But uh, yeah, that's the sort of overriding um, eye-catching detail is the stock on this, but <clears throat> obviously sitting in it is the Scorpion SE, is a, is a really nice compact pneumatic, and um, you've got all the usual features. So for, to start at the front, we've got a, this is their factory produced, um, sort of ported air diffuser and then that's on a threaded half inch um, thread there because this is actually particularly loud but obviously got quite a short barrel BSA's own cold hammer forged barrel of course that they're quite famous for and I must say I mean the I, I was sent this particular one um, with a view to testing their new range of pellets and everything was a ragged hole at 30 yards Very, not pellet fussy at all and extremely accurate across the board um, Going to the front, you've got there, it's on a thread, and it's the, um, you, you probably can't see the hole, but it's the probe style of charging. So the probe pushes it, you put, put the gun on its side, and push your probe in from your airline to fill up. Um, it's 232 bar fill pressure with these, which is the sort of magic figure that BSA have always stuck to. Um, and from that, with this, you're going to get, I think, with, available in 177 and 22, you'll get six, around 65 shots in 177, which is pretty good given the size of that cylinder. Um, and then around, um, supposedly around 100 if in 22. So uh, pretty good. So, yeah, sorry, 65 and 177. So pretty impressive shot count. It's not technically regulated, but it's on a sort of self-regulating um, valve system. But uh, yeah, it's, they're very, very good actions. You've got the snail, sort of characteristic bolus bolt from BSA. That's all very nice. Again, it all just feels good in operation. And as it comes forward, it automatically uh, just plops down. And it's, it's, that's all very nice. Um, we'll just quickly turn it around and show you the other features. see on there you've got um it's obviously got a manual safety catch there which is nice and positive and you can, you can ignore it if you want to which is good um and then if you pull the bolt back you've got a magazine um locking it's just a bit awkward from the reverse side you see that clip there that's actually to lock the magazine in place which is a nice feature so pull that forward and then you can pull out your mag and the magazine is all nicely uh, marked up um, these are colour coded for calibre, so you've got blue here for 177, it will be um, red for 22. 10 shot magazine uh, with a sort of simple drum, so you just rivet, rotate for each chamber, fill that up, and once it's full, slot it back in its home, push that back, and then you know it's properly located because you've, you've actually locked it in place. <coughs> but um, yeah, they're very, very neat. It's basically an incredibly compact, very nicely designed um, hunting rifle and two stage trigger and they're pretty good now these days. I'll just fire this off, but uh, i say it's particularly noisy, especially indoors here, I'll just fire that. Um, but obviously because it's threaded up, if you're going to go hunting, stick a silencer on there and it completely kills the noise. Um, and these become a, a pretty deadly accurate little hunter. Currently going for around um, £669. So we're outside with this uh, rather nice compact Scorpion SE Tactical. Um, so we filled our magazine, um, the sort of drum 10 shot magazine. We put that in, slide it into the action, 
push back the um, magazine with retaining clip, push the bolt home and we're ready to go. As I say, it's a bit of a crack on this. You can mute that completely off with a silencer, but uh, we'll just put a few shots through. Very smooth bolt action, I must say. And um, yeah, everything cycles through very nicely. There's a sort of reassuring feel with this. It's definitely a quality bit of kit. And uh, as I say, this, these, um, these stocks, I've had a few of these through before, but it's uh, particularly comfortable. It's one of the most comfortable um, synthetic stocks on the market, I'd say. So yeah, this is now the only Scorpion they make, but it's, um, it's very nice and highly recommended. That's the Scor BSA Scorpion SE tactical